Good evening, everyone. It is time for another Thursday night rock and pour with my friends Louise McKay Art, Amber's Awfully Awesome Art, and Angela Bliss Art. We are so glad to have all of you here every Thursday night with us, and we are excited about tonight's challenge. We are to paint on anything but a canvas. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. We are working on an 11 by 14 glass frame. Um, I got these from Michaels when they were on sale and we are going to experiment. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and open up the frame and we are going to play with some blooms on glass. Um, since I created this video, I actually have done a few more and I am in love with this technique. And um, so when I when I did, originally did this video, I really was not sure how it was going to turn out. But after I did it, I just kept on going and um, I'm very thrilled with the results. Okay, so now that we have the frame all apart, we are going to go upstairs and we are going to start blooming on this piece of glass. See you there. So for today, I've got my press and seal. I've kind of cleaned up these edges. Okay, so we're going to try doing this without breaking the glass, obviously. Um, I am going to try to secure the glass with tape the best that I can. Um, you know, I don't want it to be too secure because then I can't get it up when I'm ready, I'm done with it. All right, so we're gonna do that. Here we go. It's on there pretty secure. Good, just don't wanna cut yourself when you're doing this. All right, and we are going to pour. Color to go, Bora Bora Shore. I have actually, this is actually the second piece of glass. I've went ahead and poured the um, Bora Bora as my pillow paint. Okay, let's start laying the colors, starting with dioxazine purple. Then we're gonna go with some TLP sapphire. After the TLP sapphire, we are going to put down some Master's Touch Pearl Dark Green. That is a gorgeous color. After the TL, after the Master's Touch Pearl Dark Green, this next color is TLP Lakeside and Ball Gown Mixed. After that, we're gonna try popping some bubbles and then we are adding some Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. After the Amsterdam Sky Blue Light, we're gonna go, go with a TLP Aspen and we are actually going with a Windsor and Newton turquoise. We're going to go back with a little bit of the sapphire and then the dioxazine purple. We're going to use a cell activator of Amsterdam white and Aussie Floetrol, and it is mixed three to one. I just love these blooms. It did push a little bit different on this glass. If you put it on high, it blew it off the glass. And if you put it on low, you were really, it was hard to push. So after doing a few, you'll get the hang of it when you're using this glass. Um, this was the second one that I did. I didn't care much for the first one. And because of the length of the video, I couldn't show both. I wanted to show you the one that turned out amazing. Um, I'm doing the same color palette. I think on this bloom here, I missed the sky blue light, but I did put it on the third one. And after um, blowing and spinning, um, you really can't tell the difference. And it's just, um, again, it's amazing. It is a different, it is a different feel on this glass for sure. So I'm going to go through and um, we are going to get to the next part where we're going to spin this out and we will um, check back in then. See you there. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right then I'm Let's 
spin. I am in love with this abstract look. I am going to bring you down for a close up. We will see you um, shortly. See you there. This is gonna be for my client. And I'm gonna come down and show you all the lacing. Absolutely stunning. These TLPs, the TLP Sapphire is one of my favorites. Um, I really am in love with how it mixes with the other paints. So I'm playing around um, now. I just wanted to show you. And I will show you when it dries. I want it to dry just like this. So I will see you tomorrow. Fingers crossed, everyone. Hi, everybody. Okay, so we've got our frame. And I had him leave the little, my husband left these little backs in for me. And now we are going to put the glass down into the frame. That's the next step. Okay, so we put the glass into the frame and you take a bead of silicone and you put it around. I am going to do a full length video. I did one of these in a triptych and I've done um, other colors, and when I'm not on the train and I have more than 15 minutes, I'm gonna show you how to silicone. Um, so we've got our glass in the frame with the silicone. Can you see? It's absolutely beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to carefully put a top coat of resin on this. So I am going to mix up some Mixed Media Girl resin and we are gonna pour this on top and I will see you there. Okay, so I have my Mixed Media Girl resin. It's one part A, one part B. And I made a little extra. I always have a coaster or something that I, a mold ready. I always wanna have a little bit more than less. And I just poured this in and I'm just spreading it around. Um, there is a little lip on this frame. And I think that um, just a little bit of at a time is the best way to apply this. And Mixed Media Girl Resin, if you have not used it, it's amazing. Um, it's, there's not a lot of bubbles. It just dries perfectly. I've not had one issue since I've started using it. Um, so I will... Put the link below for Marcy's channel. And now I'm just adding a little bit more resin, making sure I don't drip it on the frame. That's the key. And I'm gonna spread it around. It is self-leveling, but I don't wanna to get too much um, where I'm coming over that lip. So let's um, finish putting this on and I will show you the dried results. And again, I wanna thank everyone for watching this Thursday night train. We appreciate everyone that continues to be here with us. If you missed Louise, she was before me, Louise McKay Art. Amber's awfully awesome art is up next after, after me. And then Angela Bliss is after Amber. Um, we are just so blessed. We feel so appreciative to have all of you with us. And if you haven't liked, shared, subscribed, hit that bell. We would love for you to follow us every Thursday night. You will not be disappointed. We have a theme every week, and next week it's going to be Deconstructed Blooms, and that was picked by Amber. Um, today was Louise McKay. We could paint on anything but a canvas, so I thought glass would be pretty cool. So that's all. I am going to let this dry, I'm gonna cover it up with my um, picnic net here shortly and 
We will take a look at the dried results. Cannot wait to see you there. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song. Hi everybody, thank you for joining us tonight. We are so grateful to have you here. I could not wait to show you the dried results. This was such an amazing process. I've done several now. Um, I know when everyone sees this, they're, everyone's gonna wanna try doing it on a frame. So we've put the back on. You can hang it either way. And let's show you the final results. Look at this bloom. I'm gonna bring it up. I know there's a glare. Um, you can see there's a lot of um, sparkle in here. You can't really see because of that, the resin, but I wish you could see this. So this has got resin on it. It's completely dry. I am thrilled. It's 11 by 14 frame. Um, after we spun it, we put the glass back in, siliconed it, put the back on, and here is the resined piece ready to hang on the wall. And this sold. I was telling my husband, I had a client that loves purple while I was doing it. I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And I text a picture of it and she's like, I want it. So um, this one is sold, but I have so many other color palettes to show you and I can't wait to share. I'll be doing a lot of these videos on these frames. Um, this is just amazing. Oh my gosh, it's like a, it looks like it's in a glass um, frame. It's nice and secure, it's not too heavy, um, but I hope that you can see those TLPs in here are just sh singing. They're, they're shiny um, right there. Can you see that glisten when I move it? I absolutely love this. So let me know what you think about this piece. Um, let me know if you wanna see more. Well, I'm gonna be showing more of these because I just love doing it. And again, thank you to my friends, Louise McKay Art, Amber's Awfully Awesome Art, and Angela Bliss. Um, they're all wonderful people, Angela Bliss Art. Um, and they're all great people, they're, they're great friends, and this has been a blast doing it with them. So remember, next week, it is Amber's choice of a deconstructed bloom. So hope you enjoyed this. I love this piece. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Take care. Let's head over to Amber's channel. See you there.